Today I have a special guest with me, my dad. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing, well, why don't you explain it? <laughs> uh, today we're going to try to do a opened wound uh, makeup tutorial. Yeah. So what, what you're going to need is you're going to need some brushes or one brush, how much you want. Um, but disclaim, disclaimer, um, if you use it um, with the liquid latex um, with the brushes, it will ruin the brush. So use a brush that you won't that you won't care if it got broken. You have to put it in the trash because it's gonna dry on it, and it's much harder than glue. So, yeah. Yeah, it'll leave a residue that will be next to impossible to remove. Yeah. If you guys have any tricks on removing latex from brushes that we don't know about, put it in the comment. All right. Um, so yeah, the like she said, the first ingredient we're gonna be using is liquid latex. Fake blood. Fake blood for some of the effects. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, you're gonna need a, a palette or just blush. Blush and... What does that look like? Yeah. All right, this, this, very, one's a, this one's a bit messy. Yeah, a bit dirty. But, uh, but, but it's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Because we at least need some like red. You're gonna need some concealer or uh, no uh, um, or foundation. Foundation, because we want to do it like real skin because it's not gonna be exactly like our skin. You're gonna tone. try to. You want to try your best to find a color that matches your natural skin tone. Yeah. Because otherwise you're gonna be coloring your whole arm and that, that doesn't quite work out yeah. so well. Um, we're gonna need some toilet paper just to put more like. Well, we'll show you what that's for in a second. Yeah, and. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have the same palette, but just a palette um, that's a makeup palette that you got, like, usually have this at a Halloween store. Like, it's makeup that you usually put on your face, but we can maybe, like, put, like, I don't know. It's good for highlights and colors. Again, yeah. we'll try to show you that technique as best as we can. Uh, this camera angle won't work so well, but we'll do our best and maybe uh, we'll take turns holding the camera so that we can show you some more detailed shots. Okay, All right. well, so uh, another start. another word of warning uh, liquid latex um, tends to uh, uh, stick to hairs on your arm. So if, when you're taking this off, uh, it might pull up a few hairs. So try your best to like put it where there's less hair. Like I'm going to be putting it here. There's not really any hair, but like if you see here, there's like much more hair than here. So we're going to try here. Um, I tried yesterday, I had a hard time, but. I'm gonna be putting it here uh, because there's no hair and it won't hurt that bad and not the end of the world. Right. Okay, so um, step one is we want to take some of these um, some of our toilet paper and we're going to like take off a square, um, just a regular square like that, yeah. and we're going to tear it unevenly. We don't want it to look perfect. We want we actually want it to look like you did a horrible job in kindergarten with it. <laughs> All right, so st stretch, just cut them out like that. Yeah. And then you know, some of your toilet papers will be uh, multi-layer, and if they are, split them, because that gives you some more sheets. And you waste less, and that's really important. We don't want to waste stuff in this world. There's way too much waste going on. Yeah. All right, just With so. the coronavirus too, yeah. Waste with the coronavirus? Well, not waste, but people toilet are paper. On, people are buying stuff they shouldn't or too much and not thinking of other people. And by the way, guys, clean your hands and stay home. Yeah. This is not a time to be going out. I know you're stir crazy and I know you really want to have fun and see your friends and you're, you miss them. Stay home. Oh, think try. Of the think of the older people, the people who, are, who naturally have sicknesses. They're the ones you're putting at risk when you go out, not you. And also um, saying... Uh, for kids out there, I'm not sure, but people that um, want to talk with their friend, there's a thing called Messenger Kids. It's uh, it, this is not sponsored at all, at all. But I'm um, just saying that um, Messenger Kid is like uh, to text your friends without, and it's safe. So like, well, people your parents, parents uh, have, have to, to approve, approve your friends, and uh, and it's endorsed by Facebook. As a way for kids to speak Talk to, to each other friends. and, and, and uh, have a social life online, like us adults. 
<laughs> all right, so I've torn torn a whole bunch of pieces. Um, we won't use all of this. If I show it right here. Yeah. Little piece of toilet paper. Little thin. If strips. you guys still have toilet paper. <laughs> um, all right, now we've got ourselves a brush, <clears throat> something that we don't care too much about. Um, That's not too hard. Try to be still soft, but oh boy, still. This one's, I think we used this one last time. Yep. So no, let's still... show that brush. Yeah. That's oh what, boy. That's what happens to a brush when uh, you put latex on it. It looks like there's nothing, but like this is solid. Ouch. Hard. Yeah, this is. It looks pretty normal, but like I'll try to separate it. Ouch. I hurt my. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, like that's solid. I, yesterday when I tried to do it, um, it didn't really work out because I took a brush a little too soft and it was doing lines in my liquid latex. That's why I asked my dad if he could like maybe do a video with me because I'm not good at this and he's pretty good at videos. I'm not good. And not so much on the videos, but I'm okay at doing this. Yeah, Halloween is my favorite time of the year. Yeah. Oh, I try to, oh my God. Yeah. That is still hard. So let's, uh, let's forget that. Now, what arm are you going to want? Uh, this one, probably okay. more easier. Oh, wait, we're not supposed to eat it yet. <laughs> um, Dad joke. Cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, this stuff really does not smell good. Yeah, it smells like cat poop. If you guys have cats, we have uh. two cats, and it smells like do um, cat poop. Okay. All right. Enough so talking. Start off by getting some on your brush. Not too much. You're not trying to paint the walls. And figure out roughly how big you want. So I'm going to make mine about, uh, or make this one, I'd say two to three inches in length. Um, yeah. And we're not going to, you don't want to paint over the entire area. You want to create what looks like a pair of lips or an oval shape with two points on the end. And I'll do, maybe if you take the uh, camera, you can get a closer shot. Uh, I can actually, uh, okay, I couldn't take it off, but. Yeah. Sorry, guys, it's really shaky. My hand is shaking right now. I'm really sorry, but. All right, so I something like that. Okay. And you know what? The easiest way to do that is to actually look through it. Okay, so that's kind of like what it does, what it is. Yeah. Like that. All right. And next, what we want to do... Guys, it's really shaky. I'm really sorry. Next, what we want to do is we want to start placing some of the... Uh, now, the paper should be lined up across it like that. So you want them to overlap a little bit in the middle here. But you don't want... The reason why we did that shape so we, is because we don't want the actual middle to get it stuck down. Later on, you're going to see why. But the main purpose of this is to build up some layers... And that's exactly what we're doing next. We're going to take this now. We're going to start laying some more down again, following that same pattern. Right. Oh, and also while he does that, um, I have an announcement to do that we're going to be doing that tonight. Um, if we're still doing it, um, we're going to be uh, doing a little game night. I'm not sure if we're going to film it, but I was thinking maybe filming it, but... Uh, that's a great idea for you guys at home or looking for something to do. Yeah, like little game night with your family. Um, Sorry, I'm blocking your camera. That's okay. And this does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect. As a matter of fact, I would say that it's probably a good idea to make it less perfect. Make it less perfect because it's going to look more natural, like it's torn. Yeah. All right. Well, of course, it's not going to be extremely natural, but. Guys, I'm really sorry to shake him. My hand's really shaking because um, if we just look at the camera up front, right there, my hand's like in a weird shape. Okay, mm. um, so that's good for a uh, first layer. And I'm going to put down some more paper and try to put it so that, again, it lines up. And lines up here as well. Also, this video might take maybe a little longer than my use videos. They're usually oh, in five and eight minutes, but this is already like 10 minutes. We we'll might edit it, make it a little shorter. Right. You can put it down. Ugh. 
It doesn't have to be close up the entire time. But you need to keep your arms straight here, so. The goal here is to layer upon layer upon layer. All right, so now that I've done two layers, I'm going to do a I'm going to start doing a coat on the top layers, paying attention not to make it wet all the way through. I want the top of this to get coated, but I don't want it to go through all the layers below. I want there to be a separation between the toilet paper and the uh, or tissue paper if you don't have toilet paper by the way, um, yeah. and the skin underneath. And you'll understand in a little while why wow, that's important. <laughs> All right, so we'll put down one more there. Put the camera down. It's fine. People need a step-by-step -step the whole time. Almost done this part. Yeah. And tomorrow I will be doing a video, um, what to do when you're bored. But a fun one because when I see videos like that, they're always like saying, read, um, uh, watch Netflix. Well, that's the problem. When you're bored, you're bored, and. W I get bored because I'm watching too much Netflix or YouTube, so um, I'm okay, getting... Stay here. I'll let that dry. I'm going to go... Ah. Oh. No. Ouch. <laughs> I'm going to try yeah. to rinse this off before it tries. Yeah. That would be good. Put some music. Let's party. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna. Now, the, the worst part of this is the. It smells horrible. Yeah, the worst part now is to wait for this to dry. Um, I'll get the camera, and you'll know it's dry. Because if you, t if you take a look at the, the way it's drying now, you've got a part here that's, that's really, really, really white or beige but like very very bright and here around and then you can like... start seeing around the edges it starts to show oops, my nails are horrible <laughs> it starts to show show uh like a translucent kind of yeah, skin yellowing tone, yellowing color skin yeah. tone color in a way more yellow but <laughs> yeah my skin tone is very light that's why but Let's actually just put this here. And See if that looks good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Can I eat it now? Um. Can I eat it now? No. Oh. Oh my! I heard. Can we do it now? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna clean this cap now. I'll be right back. That sounded Wanna weird. Try. is boring oh who's excited for the game night tonight well I'm excited but you guys are also 
this is really fun because I just started this YouTube channel and, um, um, well, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but like, it's really fun. Yeah, I, I'm not experienced, but my brother is a YouTuber. He's called Bloopers, and he has two S's. Um, he's a gamer. Go check him out. Don't forget to subscribe to him because he's a cool gamer. Talking about my brother. Oh, yeah? I'm sorry you had to hear all that. <laughs> ha, what? <laughs> okay, we're still not dry, yeah? This is going to take some time. Yeah, so we're going right. to fast forward it. Right. And we're back. That was very quick for you guys. Lucky, that was long. Okay, that's a hair dryer. This is not a hair dryer. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, hot air gun, and we don't want you playing with these things. It's only adults should play with these things. Get, so, uh, they can get very, very hot, and they can melt things. So I'm going to be very careful. This is going to be loud. I try my best to uh, stop playing with it. <laughs> stop trying to do my best to dry without melting her arm. There we go. I don't think it's going to melt. Did it actually melt? That is. I think we've done enough. Be very careful. It actually hurt my arm a little. Yeah, do not use those. I just couldn't find the hair dryer. Oh All my right. god. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Table's hot now. next thing is a pair of scissors. Adult and, supervision. Okay. And this needs what it. we do is jam it into our arm. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you want to do is a little cut, get yourself through the skin. Yeah, the, the skin. Fake skin. Skin. And, uh. If I know to cut my skin. You didn't. Okay. And then go all the other way. This is gonna look really cool. I hope. Alright, so now what we have is a flap. I'll get that with the camera. What you have now is this flap that opens up and the skin underneath is exposed and it gives that sense of bumpiness. Alright, now. <clears throat> I don't know how my dad remembers all of this. I really can't. Alright, so we don't want it to be sticking up like that. We're going to actually want to peel it down a bit to make it look like it's opened up like that. Yeah. So we're going to use a little bit more of our latex. Ooh, that spread it everywhere. Hmm, a little bit of water in place. Let's uh, clean, clean that out. That. <gasps> oh, that was, that like was close. <laughs> all right. Jeez. Don't do that. No. Um, all right. Let's take a dab here. Go brush a little bit under. For the stick. And a little bit under here as well. And All right, and now we're gonna we're going just to... pull it like that and just try to stick it. If you see guys whoops. There I was looking for. So you guys are gonna put some latex under those little flaps and make it stick. So now we're gonna do the hot. All right. Oh wow, that looks awesome. All right, so now we got a nice open wound here. Uh, and now we're gonna start doing the fun stuff, which is uh, fake blood, um, blush. First so, we want it, first we want to make it look real. 
so like gonna... your skin. So we're gonna do we're gonna cover up the exterior with some uh, foundation or. We um, got a little brush right there, if you want. And uh, really, this is not rocket science. You just cover up. And sadly, it is not my skin tone. This is, I just found some foundation and uh, used it. <laughs> this is really not my skin tone, but we'll try to, to make it It won't work. matter too, too much because we're going to turn some of this into bruising. And, yeah, bruising um, and not too much though. Because we want this to look like it's been a horrible day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so if it doesn't look exactly like your skin, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Because with this, we're going to take um, some of the red and kind of do it like a little bruising because you can't just have perfect skin around it and just a big, um, yeah. Well, it's possible, but not really. I, I hope you guys like my videos. If you like them, if you like the videos, what should they do? Um, smash the hate button? Yeah. Oh my god, smash the like button. Oh, right, the like button. I keep <laughs> getting these new fangdangle things. Oh my god, <laughs> it's kind of old. Smash that like button. Smash oh, the like button. And if the comments are still opened, um, can you guys, like, maybe tell me or <laughs> show me sort of like, um, I don't know, intros. Because my intro is more like, hey, hello, guys. So I would like to find like a little intro so you guys can maybe help me out. So, you know, this is only my third video. My third video. Hmm. In a day. Two, three videos in a day. Probably four. But we're probably going to edit it all tomorrow because in a little bit today because that's going to be hard. Oh, and forgot to say that um, we're gonna you're you're gonna need a little like. Thing. You don't need this, but what this will do is it'll take away that shininess look. We don't want it to look like it's wet. We want it to look natural. Yeah. And uh, it'll also show us where so, we need to put a little bit more. If I can show that no. right there, no, there, yeah. See, so we put the foundation. There's still some spots here that are a little too right. white. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's good. <laughs> this is re really fun because um, I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time because my brother did YouTube and um, never like thought of really doing it. It's actually happening. Even when we started this morning doing it, um, doing that little pop over there. Um, you guys don't even see it, but um, the little pop for my first first video. After the slime and after the makeup. So we weren't very prepared today because uh, uh, we forgot a couple of things. You're going to need a little bit of water, so I'll go get that. I'm going to be taking that real quick. A little. And you're going to also like try to like smooth it out around. I'm not that good, but right here it's like a little too shiny. That's good. And also... um. Do not do this if you're under six years old. At seven, eight, nine, and more, um, I recommend it because in the fives and um, six, it's kind of not a good idea. Um, and you have to do this with your parents because it's very- Did you do something? No. Hmm. Oh, yes. You, you dabbed it, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, I didn't want it dabbed until it was completely dry. Whoops. <laughs> okay, whatever, all right. Moving on. So now we actually need a regular brush, one that's fine because we're not going to do anything that damages it permanently. Yeah, because we're going to put the... want something that's got some control, so something a little stiff but not hard. Um, I think I'm going to... the camera. I think I'm going to go with one that's kind of like this. It's, it's relatively fine on the edge, but it should allow me some nice control over areas that I want to paint. So now the, we want to build up in layers. You want to start off with your palette that you <clears throat> got from Halloween store or whatever. And you want to start off with your lighter colors first and then work yourself up to darker colors because it's a lot easier to paint dark on top of light than it is light on top of dark. 
And, uh, yeah, so, it's going to go right. with the dark. So we're going to try. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's got their own personal um, uh, likes and dislikes. I'm going to start with the skin tone here. Uh, just to kind of keep up with what we were trying to do. And I'm going to paint the inside of the wound because that's what it's going to start off with. And I'm going to... Lucky us, there's that color. That's from last year, 2019, we're in two, and 2020, 2020, I guess. Because I'm French and English and... Um, uh, usually we say um, 2020, that's French, 2020, but it's kind of different saying 2020, so. Well, we can say 2020 yeah. in French. But and that would be like 2020 in English. Yeah, but they got their own ways, English and French. Mm -hmm. Languages are fascinating. And that's what makes us be able to talk to each other and communicate ideas and share experiences. Yeah. After we're gonna go with the red, I guess? Yeah, well, we'll see. Well, uh, we're gonna try to, I think the next colors are gonna be, um, yeah, red's a good one. Yeah. I like to put a little bit of yellows and greens in there as well. Because a little dirty, yeah. Well, we got bruising going on. Uh, the skin doesn't uh, just go red. There's, yeah. If you look at any kind of scars or open tissues, I don't have any to show you, thankfully. Um, well, I have but some, it, but there are um, more places that you guys don't want to see, like very close to my um. Shh. Gross. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. It's got a little bit of yellowing here. Give you that sense of bruising. And this is really not an easy paint to work with, but... All right. It wasn't that expensive. We're cheapos. No, we're not cheapos. No, we're not cheapos. And I'm just following the lines of the tear itself. So a little bit of yellow here. And we got we don't really have that much good content, but it's okay. We we try our best because we decided this. Well, I decided with my dad this morning, um, of um doing a YouTube channel. So like we don't really have equipment. We hope that um in the years I wish, um I hope, um that we'll get better equipment. Like um my brother has a really cool table. And they're all like glowing things. It's kind of, it's really cool. And the TV up front, so like, yeah. So you can see like the comments up there and like down like his screen when he's playing because he's a gamer. This is really, I hope this is entertaining you guys. This is really exciting. I've never done YouTube in my life. All right. Now I'm going to do some red. I hope we're not annoying. <laughs> yes, we are. We're very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was horrible, huh? Beautiful. Do your Elmo voice. Elmo? Oh my god, Elmo's so sad. Why? Because he's not getting any of this makeup done. Oh. Elmo's not getting makeup. And more in the more and more and more in the um, and like more in the days we're gonna do a puppet. I made a puppet for um, a oral presentation. Duh, it's a presentation, <laughs> but um, oral is a presentation. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we it's something they say in English and French. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I made a puppet, but the day they said they closed the school, it was. Um, um, Tuesday, Thursday, I mix that Thursday and Tuesday, um, before Friday. The Thursday, day be Thursday. Thursday, yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, it was Thursday, I was so excited, but like, but, the, um, Friday morning I realized it because I was like, 
we're late. It's like it's almost 10 and school starts at 8, um, 8.15. And I was like, what's happening? And uh, yeah, so we, I, I was able, uh, and they told me that I wasn't going to do it. And I was just so sad because like, I was so excited to do it. And it was only two weeks. I was like, that's not the end of the world. But now it's like, in May, May 1st, May 1st. And they're probably going to change it again. I hope not. But <laughs> All right. So we are pretty much done the base foundation of the color. Yeah. We, could, we could do better, but we're not actually we're trying not to win awards here. No, we're yeah. not professional. Professional, exactly. Yeah, we're not professional. So we're going to go on to the fun part of, of the blood. Now, the blood, yeah. we don't have to... Um, uh, we have a couple of different ways to do it, but today I think I'm just going to go the, the sloppy way. Yeah. Is to keep the arms straight up like this so that the wound isn't leaning one way or the other. And I have I have a question. Does fake blood dry? Well, since this is not real blood, it contains yeah. mostly water. Um, there, but they do actually have ingredients. Usually, they don't. Um, in this case, it's got water, uh, urea. Oh my God, tetro. Tetranolamine, whatever that is, and <laughs> hydroxylethylcellulose. No, uh, hydro. <laughs> Exylcellulose. Oh god. Propylene god. glycol, uh, methyl paraben, and red forty, which is a color, and blue one, which is a color as well. So, wow. mostly water and urea but then they've got a couple of other things probably just to make it jelly like in substance but since its primary ingredient is water yes it will dry out but because it has gelling ingredients it'll probably get more sticky than it will turn yeah. dry like real blood but we're not using real right. blood so like i said most important thing is keep the wrist straight up so that the you're not leaking everything out on the side yeah because when i did it my hand was like this and like this oh like that like on the side and it was leaking everywhere and went on my shirt it was a white shirt hmm. okay that was not a good day so we're ready mm -hmm. i'm gonna do a little drizzle right there inside the center careful that's cold right. and then we're going to use the brush to help guide it where we want it to go and we don't want to spread this is not a I mean, we want to spread it, but we don't want to paint it on. Yeah. So if we're finding it's thin in areas, it's better to add more than it is to... Than because it is to it's going to be like super light, like around. red, real red, not like dark, dark red, like blood red. Mm. I don't know how they do that red color. Like, how do they do that? Well, I don't know where they get it from. It's a good thing. If anybody knows where they get red color, specifically red 40... Try to put it in the uh, comments. Put it in the comments. Let us know. I mean, everybody can get an answer to that question. I think it's a very interesting question. Okay, now I'm going to just pour a little bit more on the Oof, inside. It's really cold. And I'm going to spread it out a bit. Kind of give this effect a chance to to really shine. We want to get those 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 lips on the sides really saturated with blood. Give that a sense of really like horrible something bad happened and yeah. also good morning good afternoon i don't know what time us right now uh don't know the time my phone's right here and i can't really uh take it it's filming so well what time it is where you are and what time you're watching it i hope you're having a great time and yeah. having a great day there we go maybe people are sleeping right now yeah or maybe people are watching us months after we did it or maybe they're watching it before we did it i don't know how you guys could do that but okay <laughs> and i think we are pretty much done i mean there are, you can do you can improve on this recipe a bit uh, but let's uh take a oops a little power mode that's interesting all right so there we go final results you got an ewy gooey split open spewy kind of wound going on there yeah and uh, up close, it doesn't look as good as up from further away because it really looks like somebody did a number on your wrist. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and smash that like button. Thank you for watching, and bye, guys. Bye, guys.